hello everyone i welcome you all to this channel and today we are going to discuss a very important topic from the casting process which is the solidification time that is how to calculate the solidification time for any casting okay so as you can see here we have written here chovrinov's rule for the solidification of the molten metal okay so simply this rule says that the tau is directly proportional to volume by surface area where tau is nothing but the solidification time generally we can uh, uh, it is denoted in seconds okay or we can also convert it into minutes whatever the it will be asked in the question we will just give in either second or minute okay so tau is directly proportional to volume by surface area whole square so i have written this thing over here that is tau is directly proportional to v by as whole square and to remove this proportionality sign we have to add one constant over here that constant is k that is tau is equals to k into v by as whole square this constant we have named it as mole constant or the solidification factor so we can remember this formula that tau is equals to this very important formula we can directly solve any kind of question the related to the solidification time so now we will see one question which will makes the things very clear and we can understand that how to solve any questions if coming from the topic solidification of the molten metal okay so let's see that question so here is our question it is given that a spherical droplet of 2 millimeter radius will solidify in 10 seconds suppose this is a uh, 2 millimeter radius uh, uh, spherical drop which will solidify in 10 seconds right so how much time will it take for 4 mm radius sphere the radius of this is 2 mm and it is asking that how much time it takes for a 4 mm radius sphere to solidify under the similar condition so this is a very easy question it is given that the radius of this sphere is 4 mm and it is asking what will be the solidification time so we have just seen the solidification uh, time formula that is tau 1 is equals to v by as whole square so we know we can directly write uh, the ratio of tau 1 by tau 2 that is tau 1 by tau 2 equals to v by as of 1 whole square divided by v by as whole square of 2 so we know that tau 1 equals to 10 10 seconds and we need to found tau 2 now we have uh, written uh, in short form that what will be v by as so we have calculated it here that v by as nothing but for uh, sphere the volume the formula of volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube and the surface area formula for sphere is 4 pi r square so if we just calculate it we will get r by 3 so i have written that only that r by 3 for one whole square of that and r at 2 by 3 whole square okay so r1 we know it is 2 mm divided by 3 whole square r2 we know it is 4 mm divided by 3 whole square so from here if we calculate we can finally get the tau 2 value which is coming out to be 40 seconds so this is a very simple question and uh, in this way we can find any kind of questions related to the solidification time okay so i think this video was helpful for you and if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscri subscribe to this channel okay thank you